Welcome everyone. Today we'll be looking at some of the easiest and also fastest ways to earn dark crystals at the start of the game and throughout the game. So let's go through some of the method of earning more dark crystals on the map and also in the game, even when your level is considered capped at the current day level. Now I did buy the monthly card, so I have 100 extra. So today we'll look at all the ways I've found to get dark crystals. And one of the easiest and quickest way, of course, is to loot those little supply depots. So I'll show you guys one of the supply depots being looted. We'll look at the cost of looting those. So you can see over here, looting this supply depot gives me one gold summon and also 50 of the dark crystals. And what you can see is on the map, there's a lot of the supply depots. Now there is a downside for looting them because you'll be using up the experience they provide. Later on in game, likely you will need more experience. So currently I'll be capped at level 23. We'll make a video to talk about this soon. No, I'm getting attacked. So I'll be capped at level 23. So if I loot all of them too early in game, it might reduce my speed of getting experience in the future level of game. Now let's have a look at all the other ways to get dark crystals that I've found. So basically, I'm sure you played similar games before. For the free to play games, you go to all the icons here to click them and they should give you some of the reward. So make sure you check everything. Now there are a few of those you should be aware of. For example, the follow us. You just have to make sure you click onto it. And then once you are clicking onto the buttons, usually you'll get a hundred of the dark crystals in the mail. And this is quite simple. So make sure you do click this and also as for exchange, there are currently four codes. I'll have a link for the previous videos for the exchange to get two more summons. Now there's of course, I don't recommend buying this and over here you can just follow this. So let's keep going with the ways to get more dark crystals. Coming over to the terminals, make sure you do click all of those. So there's a the story ones, you get some dark crystals. There is also the chronicles with you will get some crystals. And over here, there's a lot of achievements that you can actually look into to get more dark crystals. For example, what you can see over here is there is a list of those that allows you to do different dungeons or do different battles to get more dark crystals. I can claim on one of those to show you guys. Now I haven't had time to claim on all of them, but you can see that if you are kept with leveling, this is one of the best ways to get dark crystals because there's so many things to do and there's so many boss to defeat and quickly you'll be stacking a lot of dark crystals. Now on the topic of the Chronicles, so in case you guys are wondering, the traveling log are the viewer points that you unlock at a certain location. Once you go to the viewer points and interact with it, you'll be getting 20 more dark crystals this way. And currently on this side, I have about four more to unlock. For each of those I unlock, this will be 20 more dark crystals. What you do is you basically stand at an angle view this particular side and you can find a little viewpoint to interact. Now as we keep going, we can see there's a main story quest. And on the main story quest, as you clear them and then as you go across the regions, what you want to do is you want to try to unlock the island and also the plot reward. So notice here there is 50 dark crystals, 50 to be claimed over here, and I'm still missing the 80% and also the 100%. So there's another 100 more dark crystals. For each of the main story quests, there is 200 more dark, crystal, dark crystals to be claimed this way. So quite a bit to go through as you go through the story. Make sure you come over here to click those boxes. So those are all located in the terminal. And this is by far one of the best ways to get more dark crystals. Of course, you can keep a track of the ways to get more dark crystals on the mission as well. So if you come over here to the mission, as we keep going, you can see that there's more dark crystals. So there's 20 more dark crystals to send one gift. You can go track mission and then you can send one gift and this will give you more dark crystals. So make sure to come over here to keep a track of the bounties, the missions and things to do each of the days and also look for more dark crystals. So as we keep going, we can come over to the crew section. Now this is more for the weekly dark crystals. So we can see over here that if you come over to the crew, make sure you do join crew. Once you have joined the crew, do a daily donation, which will be some of the item that is provided. You can donate once a day. And after that, you can see that there will be reward for additional dark crystals. And this will be the weekly reward over here. Now coming over to our next way of getting more dark crystals. So if we come over to challenge and we can see there is a bygone fetizen. I had a look around. It seems that we have to be level 26, which is likely going to be on day three to unlock this. And once you unlock this in the levels of this, there will be dark crystals, at least 50 or even 100 for clearing those. And as you keep clearing those, there's hundreds of levels, you will be getting more dark crystals this way as well. So this will be unlocked on the day three of the release of the game, I believe. So I'm currently on day two for this version. 
And of course, we have the world exploration. So we talked about previously there's ways to get dark crystals from the chest. As you explore the world for the chest, you can also get dark crystals from world exploration. And this is one of the zones and you can go for more of the zones for more exploration. Now going to the next method of getting more dark crystals is actually in the vehicle section. So once we have unlocked maintenance at level 32, you can get more dark crystals this way. Now keep in mind, this will take a few more days for the level to unlock because each of the days is a slow level unlock progress. I'll make a video about this. So this one will give you more dark crystals once you unlock this to maintenance the vehicles. So for each of those vehicles you unlock, you can maintenance them and this will give you, you know, 20, 50 more dark crystals this way as well. Now finally, there's also ways to get Dark Crystals for free as you join and play the game. So what you're going to do is come over to Social Network and come over to Mailbox. And we can see over here there's a lot of Dark Crystals to be given for the compensations and also mails in the game. Now usually the mail will pop up on the top of your screen over here, but if you do want to go back to where the mail is, come over to Friends and also come over to Mailbox. I might make a video about this in case you guys want to check. So this is what you can see that the Dark Crystals I've gotten in the game for the compensations and also some of the login rewards and also some of the generous rewards for, you know, getting top three in the global region. So you can see there's a lot of mails you can check for more Dark Crystals. And also, you can see if you miss anything, just cl click claim more to get all the loots. Since this is a dark crystal gathering video, I do want to come over here and show you guys something I researched and also found. So it's about purchasing a special item called the Vitality Solution. And this item can be kept to buy or to use for once you get to the maximum level, higher levels. So I did buy one of those. The first buy is 50 dark crystals. The second buy is 100. It is recommended free to play players consider investing some of your dark crystals into this item. And you don't use it now. Use it when you get the maximum level in the game and to get the highest loot quicker this way. Because every day, the more you buy, the more costly it is. So free to play players, consider buying one of those a day. And I'll show you my inventory. And basically you can see that I have bought one of those with my dark crystals. So this is one of the recommendations I search to use your dark crystals effectively if you don't plan to use all of them for summons. And, you know, I think this is a good investment in the long term if you guys want to consider this. So it's a really nice tip. I thought I'd let you guys know as well. Now, I think that covers most of the ways I've found to get more dark crystals. Keep in mind, some of those were unlocked after a few days after the level cap. And most of those are pretty much free to play. The only time I got 100 additional more dark crystals is actually from the actual monthly card. So I got 100 extra dark crystals for buying the monthly card today. So keep that in mind. I do have 100 extra. But it's a lot on the map I haven't looted. You know, clearing the story, clearing the map progress, and also opening the chest. But I've been saving my chest for my level progression in the future. So I'm a little short on dark crystals because of that. Now, if you found this video helpful, make sure to subscribe on our YouTube channel and for more content related to Tower of Fantasy. I'll be looking into more free to play content and I've tried to look into minimal spending or no spending method to clear the game and also achieve the highest amount of free currencies and also free to play, you know, characters and also weapons in the game.